So let's take a look at the retimer tool. This is the tool that makes it possible to change the time flow in your simulation. And it has a user-friendly interface so you can get exactly the look that you want. and you won't need to re-simulate the scene. In the retimer interface, there are indicators to show the speed of the simulation based on the retiming settings. And retiming can be as simple as just using a time factor. There are multiple options to output the retimed elements so that they don't override the original, or you can create multiple versions of the same scene. A curve function can be drawn manually to drive the retime effect, and expressions can also be used. A preview of the retiming effect can be seen using the movie player by simply loading the frames from the original simulation. So once you're happy with your results, you can save the retime status. Just like this. Make sure that the output files are going to the right places. And then just hit the retime button and you'll get the desired result.